Hello and welcome back to XCOM 2 War of the Trolls. My name is Saiken and today we're continuing our Rookie Balboa run where we're trying to beat the game on Legendary Iron Man with nothing but rookies. And today was a special day because officially this is the time when the first uh, episode aired. So I just come back, uh, came back from the premiere and it was great hanging out uh, with you guys of course, in typical fashion of uh, viewers of this channel, the first comment that I got was Aren't you trying it uh, with four men, Saiken? It seems awkwardly easy if you were to try it with six rookies instead of four. And I was thinking to myself, you know what? F it, why not? Let's uh, try to up the challenge a little bit. I will commit as long as possible to stick with four rookies. Um, and I will make a decision if we if the whole run uh, goes sideways whether or not uh, we we might want to upgrade to six but for now i will try as long as possible to go in with four rookies which will make it just that much more difficult so we got sonar insane uh, talking a little bit about the current mission steaming gaze it's going to be a vip mission and very much that could mean that we're running into the viper king which is one of the things that i'm scared about um, we do have, uh, as always, our two uh, rockets uh, for cover removal if needed. I have switched to a new tactic. Since we do have uh, um, the plasma weapons, you would see that the prototype plasma rifle now has a superior scope and a superior repeater. 15% insta-kill chance. That, however, also means we do have a chance uh, that together with the tracer rounds, we are at a hundred, <clears throat> almost a hundred aim based just on rookie stats. If we put him on top of a roof or if he has proximity bonus, that is a real chance to even hit uh, enemies like say a gatekeeper. <clears throat> so maybe this could help us. On the other hand, of course, if we were to go in with blue screen rounds, uh, it would make a lot of uh, the harder enemies so much easier i don't know i'll i'll decide uh, what we will do and uh, i switched the med kit out for a lure i mentioned it a bit earlier just trying to use the lost in our advantage and uh, seeing if this is going to work out no clue yet but there had been so 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 many losses, and we might as well use them and uh, try to use them as living mimic beacons so let's ki kick this off and see if we actually can form in this. Okay, so we just landed. Fantastic time for an XCOM mission. We need to free the VIP here, okay? 12, 12 um, turns is not as much as it seems. And the exit is far, far behind. That's not optimal. We got some high ground here. And if I'm just measuring, like, that's one, two, three, four, five full uh, movements. We're fighting against a difficult mission. So that'll be in the line of five, four to five packs. Maybe a chosen, maybe the alien ruler. You can add one turn per pack. Uh, plus another one for the chosen or the ruler so we're already at 11 turns if i do my initial math and that is with a straight line uh, this is going to suck as a mission we are not in a good place we are not in a good place there Oh, wow, okay, so there is a pack right there. It looks like um, a mech plus a stun launcer plus a specter. Oh, and another pack. Yeah, of course, please. Please cluster together. Good to go. Now, this is going to be helpful. If they are clustering together. I'm all over it. Uh, well, we're going to start with pulling both of the packs. Uh, 
So the unit that worries me the most, potentially the Spectre, in a four-man run that is difficult. We need a Mimic Beacon. And that Spectre can, can be a real pain in the rear. So do we have blue screen rounds here? Yes, we do. Say if we were to take that shot, and if we crit, we can even kill it. I've been detected. Okay, talking about a crit, that was good. Gotcha. But it also poked the the hornet's nest. Quite a poke, I might say. So what else can or should we do? We could get rid of the Mac here. Two screen rounds, right? Yes. Good, so that's two gone. We need to kill one of these three, though. And then Mimic Beacon. Which means it is going to be teamwork. Those two are nasty. Are we going to use an explosion here? I mean, look, it's a difficult pack. I'm trying to manage our cooldowns. That's only a 70% chance. The problem is if we are not hitting, we are actually screwed. Because the moment that we're not hitting, these guys will continue their rampage. And the Mimic Beacon will very likely just get rid of one of them. Losts might come. Two, four, six, eight. Two, four, six, eight. Yep, yeah, that's a kill. And this guy is further uh, reduced, so might as well kill the one with the more hit points. Good, we're saving that extra. And I would like to put a Mimic Beacon down, meaning both of them will potentially go into melee range and uh, trying to attack them. Uh, my worst fears, why is it the uh, assassin? Good, so... Can summon stun lancers and can regain lost health. That's not a pr well. Both of regain lost health is actually a problem. Brutal is not a problem, and zero weaknesses. That's an issue as well. I will end this quickly. But yeah, we can we can theoretically get her. It's going to be easier. It's going to be easier with um, the loss because the loss will spot her out. So look at that, both were motivated to leave their positions and fight the Mimic Beacon. Well, great. Good. Lots and lots and lots and lots of losts. Let me just move over here because I want the loot. Nice. That's exactly what we needed. We're getting at least a couple of these guys down. before killing the mutant. Target neutralized. I need ammo. Good, time to deal with more of the losses. 
before we go to ta uh, and take uh, the Sun Lancer down. Very good. So far, so good. Yeah, let's not go for the de uh, uh, for the dash re with him yet. I want to make sure that that stun lancer really dies. Yeah, good. Okay, we're fine. Uh, this. Nah, we're good where we are. Let's reload. Just recovering enough ammunition and down that stun down. So that is that, that's important. So two packs are now completely gone, which is fine. Now the next step will be trying to advance here. We still got high ground as an option. Okay, so far so good. We are almost completely done with the first Lost Swarm, but we're down to eight time units, and that's not good. We needed to reload and get this guy going. Got a problem here. I don't know where that where that evil assassin is going to be. <sighs> How do we deal with it? Full cover might be the right um, play here. I like the idea of high ground. And she's not immune to overwatch shots. So let me make the uh, let me come up with the idea or let me make the suggestion that everybody just takes an overwatch and we hope that we will find her. Good, down to seven. Not good. Not good at all. Trying to move a bit and see if we can spot her out. The answer seems to be no so far. No idea where she might be. Well, I do have a couple of ideas, but none of them are are really solid plans. Seven more turns. Oh, this is going to suck. I need to advance really, really quickly. We're going to potentially be attacked up here because the only uh, agent that has no yeah that has no support. Harbor wave. Of course, she's going to let someone else trigger the overwatch. How fitting. That's a hit. 
And kill. Fantastic. Good. If she just keeps her position, we would be spotting her out. Superior stock is good. Not great, but good. And this is great. Well, this might suck. We might uh, take falling damage, but it is what it is. At least we're not going to take... No, we're not going to take feet. Yeah, wow, that was... Oh, that was very good. Okay. Okay. So, say we were to go to here. This should be able, we should be able to see her here. Yes, very much so. 66% chance. Okay. All right. This is with high ground. So the better chance from here, 90%. to see about that. I'm going to see if this is not going to be enough to stop you. Alright, moving up as close as possible. Standing in the open is never fun, but I need the chances to hit her. Okay, so that's a 76% chance. I will trade uh, that extra ability to shoot for much better chances to hit. And there we go, that's the kill. Fantastic, yay! The not so fantastic part is we're looking at seven more turns and we gotta hurry out of here. The losses are going to be a problem because they will just make all of this here slower. Good. We gotta deal with them some way. Autoloader would have been incredibly helpful, but that's only a theoretical exercise now. Okay, good. So, we just hit all of them. Trying to dash forward and see if there is another pack. The idea being... Okay, it's not. That's actually not the worst. The idea being, if we can pull another pack, we do have the option to move up and uh, throw that nice little ultrasonic lure in their direction. Very good. And that in return means we can at least start moving in. Of course, we're going to be in a problematic situation up here. I could 
yeah, move, but not close enough to make a meaningful difference with a Mimic Beacon. So that Beacon will need to wait until the next turn. We're really running out of time. Stun Lancer is able to reach us and lances us, okay. Good, guess who has just pulled more loss, uh, damn right, these guys. It's killing time. Good, we are injured, couldn't, uh, couldn't really move any further. We got a Mimic Beacon, so that's sort of our last uh, last resort. Five turns and it's far far away. Moving on target location. Gotta kill these guys and then get out of here. Negative damage. Not what I was hoping for. Reload. And that Mimic Beacon could go all the way over here. Well, inside of both of the Stun Lancers. We do have a problem with our timers, <clears throat> and I hope the loss can give us that extra that extra ability uh, to speed this up. Okay, so we know this guy, the priest, might be down there. Difficult to get to get to them. We gotta deal with the stun lancers first. Four turns is not really helpful. None of the lost matter. Again, four turns are not a lot. So maybe the name of the game is actually sprinting in here and then... Not sure. Not sure yet. Done. Dangerous move, but one... Got the goods. But one that can, could be done. Try to hit that stun answer. Gotcha. Nice. Crit at the right time. Okay, can't really move all the way in there. I'm on the move. Damn. 
missed the VIP by one. No, can't uh, get down there. All right, in that case, never mind. What we're going to do is going to move up. And we're just going to speed uh, things up a bit. Good, we can break the mind control. But the most important part at the moment is we gotta get to that evex zone. Let's see what the lost are going to do. They are still alert uh, to the priest. Yeah, reinforcements are coming because we've uh, finished the objective. Menace one five, we're picking up an enemy transport inbound on your current position. Moving into positions where we theoretically can start to get out of here. Next turn. All right, that's a single hit, which is good. Moving up. Good, mind control is lost. Say if we were to move all the way over here, I think we could rush out of here next turn. Be careful, so I can be very careful. If we miss, uh, this is going to be a big, a huge problem. Rather move over here and keep the two shots. Next turn we can get out of here. Oh, this is a real nail biter. So much trouble just with the timer. If it if if I would have let's say two to three rounds more, the timer wouldn't be as much of an uh, as much of a concern. Would be not completely menacing. The problem is we don't, and that makes that whole situation here so much worse. A couple of these guys are standing in our way. Such as you. Okay, we're getting out of here. One. Go, go, 
All right, so whom else do we need to kill? Moving up, still trying to shoot a way through this. These two are in the way as well. Hmm. These two are a problem. Let's get him out of the way. I think this guy here was reducing the movement as well. Okay, we're completely out of ammunition. Almost there. Almost there. I think this might have opened a bit more. Uh, still didn't. Still didn't. Um, what to do? Can move down here. That would be <clears throat> that would be trapping me. Hmm. We move down to here. There is a stun lancer somewhere. Wow, this is more difficult than expected. all the way to here move into shoot we only have four hit points move over here half cover from everything not the worst it's not fantastic but it is okay I would say we're leaving both of uh, these guys in the open because they have more hit points and are potentially better target. Well, one of them. Sane is uh, more valuable from the gear. But X can take a shot, which means if anyone up here decides to take that shot, uh, are we really going to do that? This is a dangerous game. No, we can't. We can't. Overwatch, shield. Okay. Oh, it's a trooper, not... Oh, fantastic. The Overwatch will save us. <sighs> they did not shoot.
All right. Well, the loss certainly are on our side this time. Look, I'm not going to uh, stay here any minute longer. That was a nail biter mission. We did not get <clears throat> the intel, but we at least succeeded. Uh, that's, yeah, some supplies. Some corpses, and we did not lose uh, the area. And I am considering that we're uh, again using those extended magazines. The weapon with the extended magazines. Nice, that was good. Oh yeah, and we got an Alarium Core and a Superior Stock. That's not bad either. I do not see how I could have really gotten... <clears throat> out of that with the VIP. That's unlikely to uh, to happen. It was just too clutch. Continuing getting those resistance contacts. And great. More alloys, more Larium. So a few things. Number one, we want to start excavation here, right? Yes. Number two, what do we really need? What do we really need? I am low-key hoping for resistance ma uh, metrics or so towers that help us with uh, defense. We could always uh, sacrifice the Psy Lab and build it there relatively quickly. Hmm. Well, infirmary could help us. How about we're doing an infirmary because that gets rid of negative traits, right? Uh, which isn't uh, which isn't bad. And let's put her here. And we're just doing a two man excavation. This gets it down to 30 days. And we can put the defense metrics in here. Powered armor is on its way. <clears throat> Very important grab once we do have it. More intel is not needed at this point. But I think I want that double agent. Make instant contact. 160 intel gone. And let's start installing that radio relay there to continue our expansion. The moment that our uh, contact center is going up. We have uh, the means to get further into Asia, which is frankly where we want to be. I suppose since that worked, we might Great. As well keep it up, Commander. Look, we got uh, dodge increased by six. That is fantastic. Now, we had a couple of things. Number one, feedback, which is one of the best orders for us so far. We really haven't had that much luck in this run with the orders. Or we're getting another engineer. I think we could do this. Soldier captured or an ambush. I think we don't want to lose any rookie. But there might be an ambush. So what I would suggest is we're equipping two of the rookies with semi-decent gear. Say Ataxia and Lurisil. Ataxia 
attacks here could get tracer rounds for better hit and nano mid kit but it's not bad in terms of weapon upgrade let's just take auto loader yes which is never wrong and a repeater which again is never wrong <clears throat> Good, so that's Ataxia, and Duracell is the rookie that has lost their bondmate. Oh, I'm sorry. Good, another nano med kit, and... Skulljack could be an option, <clears throat> just to get that insta-kill. You know what, why not? And weapon upgrade. Another expanded magazine plus repeater. I think that wouldn't be too bad. Oh, hair trigger is decent as well. Good. So both of them have okay gear in case <clears throat> they are going to be covered, um, captured here. Not captured, ambushed. Luracil, Ataxia, go for it. And the feedback will be a really good upgrade for us. Good. In case you wonder where that uh, N engineer was coming from, we had him on the last Covert Ops mission. <clears throat> okay, building the radio relay. Those who have given their lives today have done so in defiance of the elders. Whom they will find no mercy in the God's embrace. Good, we're continuing so the scan here. And, you, and we got some training going. Very good. Let's go with Sasis. Not that it matters. Uh, she will not see a mission, nor nor do I want to upgrade uh, the squad size. But just in case, there is a fallback. So, of course, I fear we need to high level of psionic enemies pre present. Oh, this is getting better and better. <clears throat> this is happening, can't really uh, change that. And here we would get a rookie. Nah. Show of force is... would be almost another nail in the coffin of this run. We gotta... we gotta be able to survive this mission and somehow get uh, through it. This is a real, real problem. Show force means bigger size pots, meaning more hit points. And ultimately for us, it means we have a lower chance uh, to win those missions. Okay, we're still hanging in here late August. Uh, it's soon time for Andromedons and the, the bigger enemies. And we're still chilling with four rookies. I hope powered armor comes through soon. Oh, this is helpful and then I would like to invest my further money into into good old uh, war suits once uh, they are available and uh, heavy experimental weapons because that would be important as well I am wondering if we want to go for plasma grenade potentially not certainly not for spark Good. Anything else we can build with engineering? It, it feels so atypical um, that you cannot do anything. We could theoretically get one more blue screen rounds, yes. But in the next mission with a lot of Psy units, that really wouldn't matter too much. None of the weapons. Yeah, the armor is a joke. Uh, we're not going to use that. The ultrasonic lure 
worked surprisingly well in the last mission. Mine shields might be an option, but our bonds are sort of acting as quasi mine shields. It's not great, but it is the best we can do at this point. And mine shields would cost an inventory space, so can't really do that either. Can't really do that either. We're saving our uh, we're saving our cores, and we need to get more Larium cores so that we can uh, get items from the proving ground. Plus, we need to expand further. We really need more Intel, uh, fast expansion. That's the name of the game. Okay, thanks for watching, guys. If you enjoy Rookie Barboa, where it feels like we're in the tenth round, Rookie is like complete. Uh, 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 rookie, I say Rookie. Rookie is completely beaten up, and we're just hanging in in the ropes, trying to somehow maneuver our way through it. So let's see how how this is going to uh, go in the next few weeks and months, as it is now on a tipping point. Either I can pull it off or I can't. Uh, I hope for your support. Leave a supporting comment and a like down below and see you very soon. Bye-bye.